Winners of the 2017 Eurovision Song Contest, home to Cristiano Ronaldo, favourite dish, sardines, and of course, Iberian Gauge Railways. Welcome to Portugal. Our journey in Portugal starts in the small town of Cassia, just east of Aveiro in northern Portugal. I'm a little bit annoyed actually because we just got out of the car, we just missed that uh, lovely diesel locomotive going past. We're in a place called uh, Sissia. I think that's the correct pronunciation. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that uh, me and Axis just don't go together. Um, we're on the uh, Aveiro to Porto main line. Uh, Porto being that direction, that, sorry, Aveiro being that direction there. Porto, uh, this direction here, about a mile or, sorry, kilometer, should I say, kilometer and a half from uh, the station here. So I found this place on Google Street View. Lovely bridge just behind us. So we're gonna see what we can see from here and I'll hopefully get some good shots. Although the bridge gave a good vantage point, it got in the way a little too much and the lighting wasn't on my side either. So I went off to find a new location. So I was just looking for um, somewhere to film but unfortunately the fence is a bit high. But if you look just over here, it's going to turn the camera. Great big hole, let the train go past. <laughs> Great big hole in the fence, something you definitely wouldn't see in the UK, but something I'm not going to complain about, great place for filming. So I've seen some strange things at the line side in my time, but uh, I don't know if you can see just here, snails, or as they say in Portuguese, caracois. Quite a delicacy out here actually, lovely with a little bit of garlic.
Our next stop takes us about 65 kilometers south to a triangular junction at B4, Cassin, Delage and Revelge near the town of Figuier de Forge. So I'm just driving along the railway track here now to a location called uh, Revilles and there's actually a Portuguese autostrada that goes across over the top of the railway line here and last time I was going across the autostrada I saw a nice freight train coming along this section of track and there's a, a harbour port just down the road in Figuier de Foz so we're going to see what we can see right here um, good location right on this bend and hopefully I'll get some nice shots Put off by the level crossing noise, I had just packed up the tripod and almost missed this Series 47 locomotive, part of the Eurosprinter family. So I've just driven past this and absolutely had to stop. Take a look at this, old school signalling. So we're here at uh, Bufeca de Large, me and pronunciations again, but I won't keep repeating that. Um, I've just noticed this is a junction station just behind the station, there's like a, a triangular junction I've just noticed um, a freight train going across there so I think we've come to the wrong place but I did find something rather charming on the platform we had at the platform it's a rather nice signal box so there should be a train along where are we there 11 minutes past which is about now good to see the Portuguese railways are on time as the British ones Onwards we go to the beautiful Duru Valley and the town of Regua, around 70 kilometres to the east of Porto. One of the things I keep trying to film a lot more of is heritage trains. So we've come here to Regua, where on certain times of the year you can catch a heritage steam train along the beautiful Duru Valley.
just speaking to a very helpful person in the uh, station buffet here with my broken English and bits of Portuguese and we missed the steam train by 15 minutes so we're just going to head off up the line to hopefully catch it on its return journey. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the heritage train, but did manage to land a great shot of this extremely rare locomotive. The final stop takes us to one of the main hubs on the Portuguese railway network, Entroncamento. So we had a great time here in Portugal and where better to end our visit than Entrecamento. The word literally translates into English as junction. So here we are, Entrecamento and of course the Portuguese National Railway Museum. Before we head into the museum, the station offered lots of opportunities to film a variety of trains and locomotives and here are a few of my personal favourites.
I'm going to leave you now with a montage of shots from the Portuguese National Railway Museum. I do hope that you've enjoyed watching, and if you have then please do leave me a like and also subscribe to Dad Rail for more mainline, heritage, European and model railway content. Also, do let me know in the comment section below if you prefer this presented format of video or just the clips of the trains without the talking and information. As always, you can follow me on social media and remember, create, share and inspire. Thank you for watching. <laughs>